Okay, a hard water question. That is, a hard water question, not a hard water question. Anyway, hard water contains dissolved compounds. Explain one benefit of drinking hard water. Well, hard water, what is it? Hard water contains calcium and magnesium, or magnesium, I should say, or both ions, okay? So, one benefit of drinking water that contains these. Well, two mark question. So first you've got to state the benefit, then you've got to explain it. So the benefit is it's good for your bones or for bone health, okay? It's one mark. So bones. Now you've got to explain it for the second mark. Well, just say that calcium is good for your bones, okay? Calcium is good for your bones. Okay, you could also say that hard water is good for heart disease. And the same explanation, calcium is good for your heart, apparently. Or well, reduces heart disease. But you've got to say, you've got to explain only one benefit, so pick one or the other. Okay, right, yeah, quickly, I know it's not part of the question, but it's good for your revision and knowledge. I'll give three drawbacks of hard, hard water. Okay, so one drawback is you need more soap to get a lather. Okay, second drawback is that the scum formed is unsightly. Okay, and the third drawback is that it produces lime scale, which reduces the efficiency of your appliances. Okay, more of that to come. Right, next question. What is the name of the solid formed when hard water reacts with soap? Okay, it's scum, okay? When hard water reacts to soap, you get scum, not lime scale. Okay, to be very clear about this. Scum is formed when the hard water containing these ions reacts with soap. Okay, so let's say calcium, magnesium plus soap equals scum, okay? Lime scale is formed when hard water is heated, okay? So you don't need soap to make lime scale, you just need to heat the water. Plus heat, well when it's heated, that makes lime scale. Okay, don't mix the two up. Right. Using temporary hard water in an electric kettle reduces the efficiency of the kettle. Describe how this happens. Four marks. Right. Well, the question is talking about temporary hard water. So temporary hard water is water that when you boil it, you can reduce the hardness. But permanent hard water, boiling it, doesn't affect the hardness. Okay. So we've got to get four marks. Let's go. Right, using temporary hard water in electric kettle reduces the efficiency of kettle. Describe how this happens. Well, temporary hard water contains hydrogen carbonate ions, okay? I'm gonna write this in shorthand. You have to write out the full sentences in your answer. Okay. Forgot the minus. Right. One mark, got to get four marks. Second point, when heated, these ions decompose to form carbonate ions. So when heated, the HCO3 minus decomposes to form carbonate ions, which has a two minus charge, okay? Next. 
The carbonate ions react with the calcium or magnesium ions to form an insoluble precipitate, calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. Okay, so these carbonate ions react with the calcium or magnesium ions to form calcium carbonate. I'll just read that out again so you get the, the full correct answer. The carbonate ions react with the calcium or magnesium ions to form an insoluble precipitate, calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. Okay. This is insoluble, that's important. The lime scale, this is, it's all, that's the lime scale, okay? For the fourth mark, we've probably got four marks already, the lime scale coats the heating element reducing efficiency. So lime scale, coats the heating element to reducing efficiency. Right, that'll get you the four marks, definitely. Okay, final question for three marks. Water filters in homes contain iron exchange resins. Explain how iron exchange resins change the dissolved compounds in tap water to improve the water. Right, got to extract three marks out of this. So let's go. First mark, what do you got to say? Right, the resin beads have sodium ions attached to them. So sodium ions attached. Second point, you can tell I don't know this subject very well, can't you? It's not particularly interesting, I must admit, so uh, I, I feel for you. As hard water passes through the resin, sodium ions swap places with the calcium and magnesium ions. Okay, so these sodium ions swap places with the calcium or magnesium ions. Okay. The water now contains fewer calcium and magnesium ions, so it is softer. Okay, so fewer calcium ions, therefore it is softer. Boom. Oh, there we go. A complete hard water question.